At a recent Cisco event, I asked Doug Gourlay from the Data Center Group to tell me about Infrastructure 2.0. Um, what is Infrastructure 2.0 from your perspective? Well, there's fundamentally a set of infrastructure upgrades and updates that I think are necessary to really realize the, va the core value virtualization brings and prepare for cloud computing. Virtualization says that virtual machines are going to become mobile, portable. Workload will move from not only one machine to another, one data center to another, and probably eventually even one business to another. And as such, you know, the, infra the underlying infrastructure foundation needs to be prepared to deliver that and embrace that, while at the same time ensuring lower operational cost, and I think today, most importantly, extending the life cycle of the capital assets our customers have already invested in. Can you give me an example of what you think, ap what applications highlight infrastructure 2.0? Take um, advantage of it and what that enables? The advent of the hypervisor um, as the sort of atomic unit of workload, the virtual machine is that building block. Uh, is one very core example. Um, the new service-oriented applications that are coming out where they can dynamically find uh, each other, you know, for whether it's credit card processing yeah. or uh, the mashups and cloud computing type apps that we're seeing more and more of, anything along those types of lines, certainly what I think would benefit the most. But we also have to recognize that over 95% of the installed base is still going to continue to be, whether it's COBOL, Fortran, C, or some yeah. monolithic code base we wrote, and that's where we have to ensure that the infrastructure can support those better as they move to virtual machine environments and become increasingly portable.